Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So I'm coming to you with the weekly oracle card guidance and this week I've decided to use the Crystal Wisdom Oracle by Judy or Hall. So um, the reason I'm using this deck is because I feel like crystal energy right now can really support us in these times which are quite... Um, they can be quite intense. They can be quite turbulent for some. It depends on how you, you receive uh, what's coming to you. I feel that it's also a time in which things are coming at you from all directions. And so dealing with that, working with that can actually be, um, it can be overpowering for some. And crystal energy can really ground one and bring one into a space where they're able to just surf through this energy and really make the most of it. So for those of you who are in difficulties, I would suggest to you to use crystals during this time. And if possible, perhaps the crystal um, that you're going to choose here today. If not, just take a crystal that you feel like you're resonant with and work with that in the next two to three weeks. All right. So I don't have any little mementos for you today. I'd like you to just do, make a choice between the option one, two or three and you can go down to the timestamp below where you'll find your reading so i'm going to go ahead and begin so for those of you who've chosen the option number one oh this is quite clear so this actually came out really clearly it just felt feels like very specific so it really needs to be this card and this card is called a polychrome jasper so I'm going to go ahead and read the explanation in the book and then I'm going to um, give you a channel of message for it. Polychrome Jasper is the ideal shaman's stone to assist with traveling between worlds as it offers protection and security, resolving dualities. It helps you to remember why you are living on earth. Self-understanding. You belong to a greater group, be it a family, clan or species. Keep your outlook positive. When you feel isolated, reach out to others out of strength rather than neediness. The stone gives you the gift of security. If you desire companionship, choose an animal ally. Ground your efforts in the practical everyday world. You have the gift of meditation and see all sides of an issue. Okay, so basically that is the message here um, in the book, which I just read to you. And it talks about divination here, but I feel like I'd like to give you a specific message as opposed to the one that's in there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, what I want to say is that, you know, I feel like your center, your core is actually really strong and really resounding. It has, it's very clear about what it wants and what it doesn't want. It knows, you know who you are. You know at a core level who you are and how you belong to this world in what capacity you belong to this world i feel like it's the outer edges that are actually not as clear as you um you understand it to be um and what i mean by the outer edges perhaps it has to do with the relationships you have with people perhaps you ha it has to do with your relationship to things uh outside of yourself so perhaps with your your relationship to your studies or your work your career to something which actually um, portrays who you are from the inner outside. And I feel that that's where the discrepancy is. It's like the part of you that is the strength is struggling to be shown outside of you, or it has difficulty finding its way outside of you. And how it is expressed is actually sometimes a skewed version of who you are. I feel like you go through lots of processes to be able to keep hidden what is precious to you or who you really are and I feel like that is partially the the reason that you struggle with actually showing the world who you really are so it's almost like you're masking yourself it's almost like you're keeping yourself hidden and in when, as long as you choose to do that you can't really show yourself and show what you made of you can't really show what your capacity is or what your capabilities are the other message I'm getting from this card is that um, if you desire to actually move ahead and change those that that relationship that you have outside of you, if you feel 
like you want to belong more, if you feel like it's important for you to to ground yourself or uh, be situated in a particular space, whichever that is, that it's necessary to look inward and discover what is your relationship with yourself to others. And therein lies the answer. So I think I'm going to go ahead. There was a very, very specific message. And I'm always surprised when these kind of messages come through for such a general reading. But I'm going to go ahead here and read the rest of this bit here because I feel like some of you may be still interested in that. So it says here, big changes are in the offing. Concentrate on practical outcomes. Be down to her to earth, but pay attention to your dreams. You're part of a family of humanity. Balance your emotional energies and nurture yourself to find joy. Found your sorry, find your power alley and stay under its protection and guidance. Give assistance to others who seek freedom. Guard against giving away your power. So that is pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you feel like you need to listen to that again, just go back and, and listen to it. I'm not going to expound upon that. Um, I feel like there's, um, th if there is any kind of tears inside of you, if there's something inside of you that you're still mourning or still working with, still trying to let go of something, give it the space Give yourself the space to be able to do that. Now is the time to be able to rid that once and for all, to be able to move forth. If you do get a hold of polychrome jasper, you will find that it has an energy which is that, um, that it shows itself to the world in a particular light. But what is inside of it is actually quite different. It's quite ordinary, but it actually suggests to the world that it's fantastic or extraordinary. And I would say, ask yourself whether that applies to you in any way. Are you actually a simple soul sinking simple things in life, but actually portraying yourself to the world as if you are this huge dynamic explosion? And um, is that really what you want at this moment? So that last message is probably not going to apply to all of you, but I do hope this message resonates with you. I hope you're all keeping safe and healthy and that you're all doing well. And I wish you many, many blessings. So for those of you who've chosen the second option here, we're asking, what is our Oracle guidance for this week? What is it that we need to know? What is the stone that supports us at this present moment? So we have the card citrine and I just want to pick it up and show it to you in case you're not able to get the proper view. So looking at this card, I want to say that it's asking you quite desperately to skip, hop and jump, to actually be able to lessen the load, to be able to let go and, and just be free and just enjoy, just to be able to have some fun. And there mustn't be much effort into it, but simply to be able to feel those sparks of joy inside of you without any effort, without any hesitation, but just returning to innocence. And that's the first message I'm getting from this card. It talks about leaving the the heaviness behind. It talks about ignoring the heaviness, leaving behind the shadow aspect and simply being able to move ahead with gaiety. I would like to go ahead and read the uh, card for Citrine here. It says um, the card is abundance. It's titled abundance. I'm just going to take it closer to me. It says it's a stone of joy and abundance. Citrine helps you to interact creatively with the world, encouraging generosity of spirit and sharing resources. It promotes inner calm so that wisdom emerges. You may spend too much time worrying about home, family and finances. Remember, you are an abundant being who manifests what you need. You have an innocent, wise child inside who yearns to play and joyful play creates a wonderful world. Self-regard heals a damaged child. Recognize the value of gratitude for you are blessed. Accept constructive criticism, become emotionally balanced, letting feelings flow naturally and openly. Okay, so the other thing I'd like to add to this card here is that you are somebody who has so many, so many gifts, so many riches at your avail, and you actually are not necessarily always able to see it, or you're not really able to see how far you've come, or be able to understand how much you can appreciate about your life 
And I feel like one of the things, like you don't have to make this a heavy exercise, something where you, you're drawing it out of you, like blood from a stone. But if you could actually just understand your worth, understand how far you've come, give yourself a pat on the back and say to yourself, well, I have all of these things and it's okay for me to enjoy it. I don't need to feel guilty about being able to enjoy what I have and how far I've come. I can be proud of myself. I can actually allow this energy to flow through me and, uh, you know, remember the good things and remember the happiness and the collection of all the goodness in my life. And it's okay for me to be able to experience this. I just want to go ahead and read the last message um, that's right here. Um, okay. It says, uh, abundance is all around you. You naturally attract success and prosperity. So stop worrying, be optimistic and allow life to happen. Trust your intuition and your perception. Consult the wise child within. Take time out for joyful play. Your thoughts on the bigger picture are correct. If there is family discord, harmony is restored through praise, not criticism. So um, I'm not going to add anything to that. But I do want to say that, um, you know, this card, it gives me the feeling that you are still young. You're still growing. You're still learning. You're still at the beginnings of your journey. And even though you might have been doing this for a decade or longer or, or less, it doesn't matter because what they're saying is that it's okay where you are right now. It's okay if you've been doing this for some time and you're feeling frustrated um, because it's not going fast enough or you're wondering when are you going to get there or how is it going to unfold and when is it going to unfold. Have a bit more patience and um, spend time having fun. It's important to create that balance in your life in order for things to, to move along, for time to fly faster if that's what you desire at this moment. So that is my reading for you this week. I hope that message helps you. I hope that you're all doing wonderfully, that you are safe, healthy, and well. And I wish you many, many blessings as you go along. For those of you who've chosen the third option, we are asking, what is it that we need to hear this week? And what is our oracle guidance? And what stone is it that we need to find that will help us or that we need to use as we go along in the next week, a week and a half? Or longer. So the, the card, the card that we have here is called Presley Bluestone. I feel like this card is actually going to work with bringing together all the different thoughts and energies, everything that's bouncing around you. It's actually going to bring it to a place of stillness, bring it to a place of calm. It's almost as if this this card is saying it's okay, even if things are going horribly wrong or going horribly right. It's absolutely fine, exactly as it is. And there's a stillness in that. There's a peace, there's a calm, there's an acceptance, there's a surrendering of that. And this card is also suggesting to you to just surrender to what's going on right now. Surrender to all that it that is. And just say to yourself that everything is going according to plan, even if it doesn't look like it is. And soon you will find that the changes manifest that things start going according to plan in your mind or in your idea of how it should go according to plan. The other message in here is that if you want to delve into sad emotions or go back and look at what it is that has been working against you or holding you back, you are welcome to do that. It is a good time to do that. The next couple of weeks, I would say three weeks for you, two to three weeks, is a really good time for you to be able to look into those things. Even if the thoughts are sad or bring you turmoil or are more of it, it is fine to go inward and to be able to access that part in order to be able to release it. So this message may not necessarily resonate immediately, but I feel that as the time goes along, uh, you may find that it does. I'd like to go ahead and read the message that comes from the book because it's probably very different from the message I've given you right now. And we have it right here. I'm just going to read some of that to you now. So it says Presley Bluestone, the inner compass. Presley Bluestones were moved 250 miles from Wales to Stonehenge in prehistory to plant healing energies from the land of ancestors of the ancestors into a sacred healing landscape. 
Bluestone is an excellent churning stone accessing past, present and future. You are an ancient being who has lived through many lifetimes and has had much wisdom to impart, a natural shaman. You have the ability to journey through multiple dimensions in search of healing. Pay attention to your boundaries. You have unshakable you have unshakable core stability and an inner compass that directs you with integrity in accordance with your soul purpose. But you need to dig way back into your past and cut yourself free. It's time to dig deep into the past and access your memories. Examine your deepest intentions and your roots. Learn to live in the present moment. Find your own direction and face challenges with equanimity. The universe is giving you power to decide for yourself. Pay attention to your environment. Use natural medicine for ailments. So it's very interesting because this is the kind of energy that um, I got from that. You know, you need to go back and look at things. It's okay to go back and, and look at, uh, at the hurt. It's okay to stay in the hurt for some time if there is hurt and if it's still holding you back. And in order to, to be able to release it, sometimes you need to confront it. Sometimes you need to stay with it. Sometimes you need to work with it. And it's okay if it becomes dark. It's okay if it becomes scary. It's okay if you need to work with that for a while in order to let go. The other message I'm getting here is that you are a complete soul. You are a complete being. You're not leaking energy anywhere. There's no soul retrieval necessary. You are actually doing fine. You are together. You are whole. You are strong. You are indestructible and you're fine and it's okay to go down the scary end and deal with what needs to be dealt with before you can emerge again um, and be free and sometimes one needs to be able to do that in order to be able to set oneself free okay so I hope that that message has actually resonated on some level and that it helps you as you go along I hope that you're all keeping well and you're safe and healthy and uh I'm wishing you many, many blessings. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.